see that? I finally made it. I don't even know if I can park here. It took like nine wrong turns on the way. I don't care. I'm gonna get on the water, guys. Okay, not quite sure. That felt like a bite, man. Oh yes, there is teeth marks in my fluke. Oh my God. I had a pickerel bite, man. They're out there. Here we go, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to leave now. That means I missed a pickerel though, so that sucks. Sun's getting a little higher. They may be starting to feed. No, I missed a pickerel. One thing I wanna show you guys, I just barely nose hooked that plastic so that when I tie a repellent knot to the tip, it can move freely on there. Cause if you put too much on the plastic, it'll stop that knot from sliding. I don't know if anyone else uses a Rapala knot on their flukes, but it's pretty good. I use it whenever I can, it provides more action. This is the best lure in the world, soft plastic jerk bait. Guy, how are you today? Go tell your friends. Let's get some pickerels over here. Take a roll attack. They're turning on, y'all. All right, I'm breaking out the live baiting rig. 10 pound fluorocarbon, 17 pound monofilament. Just to add a little stretch, my fluorocarbon spool here. Uni to uni knot, snelled size two, gamagatsu circle, little weighted cigar float. It's gonna happen today. I promise it is. The wind picked up. Should be good. Just give me my rig back. What?
oh my god yes oh my god yes oh my god yes I did it persevere and it will pay off finally chain pickerel no boy down boy down down boy Just letting them rest a little bit. All right, let's get this guy unhooked and released. All right, we got him unhooked. Beautiful fish, man. <sighs> Better spot to release him. I did poke that pickerel and he swam away a little later. I just didn't get that on film. I wanted to show you guys what I was using today. I was actually using my bait runner. 20 pound braid, the 20 pound mono, FG knot, to a four aught Gamagatsu worm hook with a golden brim color five inch fluke here. This is not the ideal combo for throwing this but I needed something really tall for the casting distance and something with heavy enough line on it to withstand the teeth of pickerel. So I chose this combo to do that. And it was pretty tough to work with that long rod butt, but that eight foot really did help me cast really far. So yeah, that's the setup there. That eight foot rod though. Well, I'm calling it guys. That little pickerel, that was a life changer. I don't care. I've been after that fish for like three years. That was such a big moment for me. I've been, uh, ever since I would look on the FWC freshwater list since I started freshwater fishing like three years ago, that fish has been high on my hit list. And I had no idea where to look. Do not do what I did and struggle for years for that fish. I had no idea where to look for the longest time and I finally found it here on Lake Conway. So if you're in Orlando, hit up Conway Chain, Butler Chain, John's Lake, look for those clear lakes, those tannic lakes that have super nice water quality like this. I mean, I know you see that. It's not quite tannic, but it dang sure is clear. They're like cold water sight predators. They're active in the cold in Florida and they're only successful in like the clear water. So keep those two factors in mind. Anyhow guys, I'm gonna go get something to eat. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching, until next time.